Hi everybody. Uh, today I would like to do something I've never done before, which is a review on this product. Uh, just before you know, uh, I won this uh, item uh, on a contest, so nobody paid me to do this review when I'm doing it because I thought it was a very crappy product. And by using it, I found that it's a wonderful product. So, <laughs> uh, pretty a turnaround of a point of view, but uh, I'll show you why. Uh, so first of all, it's a, a 3D extruding pen. As you can see, it's called the Crafty Pen. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, different kind of products like that on the uh, Chinese market. But uh, this is sort of the official one. So it's pretty simple. It's a uh, power supply plugged into the uh, pen. And uh, you put the infill plastic here, which uh, can use PLA or ABS. And then you can control the temperature here or the type of plastic you choose before controlling the temperature. Uh, this is for, um, uh, I, I mean, uh, extruding and then uh, removing the filament. And here you can uh, ch change uh, the nozzle. So you ca if the piece is broke, uh, you can change it with the two snaps here. And this is the speed regulator. So it changes the uh, speed of the extruding filament. So, that thing said, uh, what you can uh, do with it, uh, actually, uh, a lot of things. First of all, uh, I'll show you, I'll put on the video some of the um, examples you can see on the internet. And that's the main reason why I thought it was a very crappy product. Because they give you some kinds of stuff like this, and then you uh, draw on it, and then assemble it, and... It's not artistically good looking and it looks really hard to assemble and do straight things, so it sucks. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I said that enough. Uh, so why is the product so good? Is that you can use it to repair household things. Wow. Or repair uh, 3D prints that didn't work that well or pieces that broke and you didn't want to reprint the whole thing. So, <whistles> what you can use it with is here I got some examples of uh, ABS uh, filament which you can buy in uh, small amounts like this or you can buy it in a big uh, wheel, uh, one kilogram wheel like this. So this is uh, this one is PLA, and you can as well buy uh, filament rods like this. So they're all 1.75 millimeters uh, in diameter, and this one is uh, PLA too. So uh, this came with the uh, crafty pen. All right. So um, I'll show you an example I made, and then I'll show you two example uh, live uh, in the making. So, one of the examples is those um, items that uh, hold cell phones. And when you uh, screw the uh, part here on the stand or something like that, well, you know, it's ABS plastic, it's very thin and it can break. So, I'll try to focus, all right. So, what you can see is that uh, the green, of course, is the uh, uh, added ABS and the black is the original part. So what happened is that I uh, opened the piece where it was broken, opened it a little bit, just the same way we would do with the metal welding. And then uh, I just melted the uh, ABS uh, plastic into it. It's very important to um, put the nozzle right into the existing plastic. So the existing ABS uh, melts a little bit. And then uh, when you pour the new ABS over it, it sticks really well. And so, I tried breaking it and it's very, very solid. I can't break it. It looks even more solid than the original part. Maybe not, but anyway, that's my part. <laughs> it's the impression it gives me. All right, so that's the first example. Um, I'm gonna show you two, these two examples in the making. So here is a uh, something a case I made for a uh, SJ cam to put on my drone and what happened here is the the way I wanted to print it I had two uh, three different parts one two and three in the front here just to hold the uh, front part 
And so I wasn't pleased the way I made this piece. I don't know, something went wrong in, in the print and it shrinked and, uh, and everything. So anyways, I had to work a little bit around it, put some glue in there just to make sure the inside part is well um, stuck together because I don't want to lose my camera from uh, uh, 30 feet in the, 300 feet in the air. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna weld with the crafty pen. I'm gonna weld and secure the piece right on top just to make it a little bit uh, more robust. And here is a small hook I made for, um, well actually it was a long time ago I made this. And I made this to put um, brushes on the sink. So I put this around the uh, faucet sink and uh, it would hold the brush right on the hook. And unfortunately it was uh, in my beginnings of uh, design and so uh, the way I printed it, uh, it broke right on the uh, layer um, uh, orientation and it's not thick enough so I'm gonna try to repair it with this uh, crafty pen because uh, well it's easier to reprint it than to reprint it <laughs> all right so I think it's time to try it out so you just plug in the um, power supply and then I'm not sure here you can see ABS or a PLA and when you want the you chose the correct one you press extrude and then it starts the temperature starts building up it goes quite fast and you can't extrude until you have reached the correct temperature <laughs> almost there okay then I'm gonna speed up the process. You can hear the engine. Whoops, I think it's a little high here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the new plastic in. I'm just putting my fingers just to show you the speed. I'm not pushing anything. Oh, there we are. I got the old plastic coming out. There we are. Okay. Just, I'm just pouring a little more out just to make sure I don't have any contamination with the existing plastic. Okay, so um, let's pull the, um, the speed down a little bit, and I'm gonna show you. I'm not sure if you can hear that make some bubble noise so when it makes those bubbles noise it says that the temperature is too high so I'm gonna try to pull it down a little bit but uh, when I tend to use it you gotta remember that your plastic is a little colder so when it goes into the nozzle um, it's gonna cool down the nozzle as well so if it makes bubble while you're not using it it's not uh, necessarily gonna make bubbles or noise like this uh, when you're gonna be using it so you got to find the correct temperature. Um, also, if your temperature is too low, you won't be able to melt it in the uh, existing plastic. So maybe the first layer you want to put in is a higher temperature than the second and uh, other layers. Okay, so there we go. I, uh, maybe it's kind of hard to see for you, but I'm going to start. I'm going to wait. It's going to go out a little bit. Getting there, speeding up a little bit. There we are. Okay. So you can see the speed that I'm going with this. It's fairly hard to control and making straight lines, but you can get the hang of it. You can also extrude in heights like this and then hold it. And there you go. So, that said, just, you can see that piece holding right here. So, you can see what you can make with it. And just by seeing this, you can um, have the same assumption as me that uh, making art projects or good-looking projects 
very hard to do. <laughs> like you said, the, in the, uh, like you saw in the internet examples I showed you earlier. So that's basically how it works. And then you can pull it out of plastic. So it can be fun with kids, although you gotta watch out to, for them not to burn their teeny little fingers because this is very hot temperature. And okay, so let's go to our first try. Let's start this. For this piece, I'm gonna put the temperature a little bit more up so I can melt right into the plastic, the existing plastic. So I'm putting it to 198. So it's going up, there we go. I think the speed is going to be stay the same. Okay, okay, all right. So let's go. So I'm not, I'm just pushing it in. So making melt the plastic a little bit before I go. And you can hear the extruding piece right here. Can't see it coming, oh, there we are. Okay. I'm pushing it quite far in just to make sure the plastic fills in. I'm pulling the speed up a little bit just to make sure I'm filling in deep. I don't mind it going a little bit over the edge because I'm going to file it down. So, there we go, not so bad. This one I got a flat weld right here. Uh, it's going to be hard to do unless I just um, weld the f angle right here. I'm going to do that as well just to make sure it's going to be stronger because my brush when I put it on it, it, it springs a little bit and I might break it again. So I'm going to make a weld here but I want to weld right between those two. Um, there's another way you can do is leave a gap like this in between and the plastic will go there but you're not sure that it's gonna melt with the existing plastic so I won't take any chance I will take this and then with the Dremel I'm gonna um, open the part right here So, you see how this comes together now? So I can put the plastic right in those, this angle right here. Okay, so I'm going to put the um, heat up again. On my extruding pen, I'm going to pull down, a, whoop, pull down a little bit the speed. It's very subtle when you get to this uh, area right here, you know, just a little bit moving a little bit changes the speeds quite a fa quite fast. You can hear it, it's going to go out soon. Whoa. Okay. Got nice fresh plastic. So, damn, I don't want this one because this won't stick if it's a little bit cold.
All right. So like I said, they're not the prettiest of welds, but it works. Okay, so when you're done, uh, there's a good way to remove the uh, filament. So what you want to do is pull down the temperature so it doesn't leave too much plastic in the nozzle, especially when you want to change color or change uh, plastic uh, types. So I guess it doesn't go uh, below 160. Usually I go around a, on my 3D printer, I go around a, um, a 100 Celsius, which is a good temperature for a PLA to remove it. So, going down a little bit. Okay, so I retract the filament. So you see, I still have some left in it because it stretched it out. But around uh, 100 Celsius, um, with my 3D printer, what you can see is on the end of the uh, filament, you can see the tip, small tip of the nozzle, so you know you removed uh, all of the plastic uh, in your uh, extruding extruder. To finish off the review, uh, I'll just uh, show you uh, what's inside. So uh, here's the uh, hot piece where the um, end point is a sort of a ceramic and uh, so those are exchangeable and uh, to open it, there we go. Uh, I forgot something important to mention uh, for those users that don't uh, have uh, 3D printers and are new to this. Um, you might want to take care uh, on the fumes caused by melting plastic. Um, ABS uh, makes uh, very nasty fuel uh, fumes. Uh, other plastics can be uh, much more nastier. I think PLA is not so bad, but uh, still, it's plastic. You should not uh, do this in, in a closed area. So keep in mind to have good ventilation. So here you go. So the speed is regulated by this. You got the uh, small motor right back here, DC motor, and then you got the two buttons there. The filament goes into the white straw right there and comes out. So it's really, really basic, but it works. So that was my review. Hope you enjoy it. It's uh, not the best uh, video I made, but uh, still the information is there. Take care. So basically what you want to do, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, metal welding, eh, I'm going to explain some basics on the uh, welding for plastic, which uh, applies for metal welding. So uh, what you want to do is uh, have access with your uh, nozzle right here, which uh, heats uh, to the desired temperature. And you want to stick this into your plastic. So you have to have a way to push it into the plastic. So what happens is if you have a piece, which you want to assemble, and it's like this. When you put your nozzle, let's say it's going to be like this, uh, you're going to have trouble going right into there and melt the plastic. So what you want to do in this case, you want to maybe file your piece or sand it down so you make an opening. So when you come into your nozzle, you can melt the part here and then start building up plastic into it. And then you go right over it a little bit, and then you can file it down right after or sand it, so you have a nice, fresh um, weld. So what happens when you do a uh, 90 degree angle is, uh, well, you got a different kind of way you can do it. In this way, well, you can weld right inside here, so you don't have to prepare your part. Uh, unfortunately, if uh, this part tends to move this way, this part is going to be uh, not welded here, so it's going to break uh, fairly easily. In the other way, if it moves this way, it's going to hold quite uh, strongly here, so the weld is going to stay. Uh, in the case it's going this way, well, you should just do the uh, welding on the other side, or both sides. So you would cut here an opening, cut here an opening, fill this out with the weld, and fill this out with the weld. But then again, you don't have a 90 degree uh, corner, uh, you have a 45 degree corner. So, in another way you can do it, is doing it by like this, 
this, this, this. Whoops, forgot this one here. So what happens is that you would fill here, you would fill here, and then this, the pieces would be uh, very well uh, stuck together. Another technique I found is that uh, some plastics, uh, maybe the combination of different kinds of plastic or I don't know, I'm not really a scientist on the uh, chemicals, on the plastics, so I'm not sure on how everything works together when it melts and uh, melting points and everything. But uh, anyways, so let's just say you have a piece uh, and you want to stick another piece to it. Uh, it might be hard just to melt the new plastic on this and then right onto the other piece. So sometimes what I do is I just, uh, with the Dremel, I just take out a little bit of that the plastic right here and then uh, melt a new fresh ABS or PLA plastic right on it uh, it would be uh, most obviously um, uh, ABS if it's a household uh, object and then when I got this right here this new plastic is very easier to weld on it than the existing one so when it's time to make the new weld on the with the new piece well it sticks very well together so that's another way you can go around in uh, trouble uh, welding.